Members and families of PAC 439, we are gathered to witness the presentation of the highest award in Cub Scouts, the Air of Light Award. To honor these Weeblow Scouts who have completed the requirements for the Air of Light Award, we light our council fire and summon the Great Chief Akela to honor these Cub Scouts. And I do this somehow. Chief Akela, there are some among us worthy of the highest award in Cub Scouting, the Arrow of Light. My brother, seek out those that are worthy of this award and bring them before our council fire. It shall be done, Chief Akela. Scouts, listen to the story of the arrow. Once, long ago, when all the animals of the earth were equal, there was great unrest. The animals began to quarrel among themselves. The bear quarreled with the eagle, the buffalo argued with the Indian. Finally, the wise old grandmother called the animals to her teepee, and she spoke to them, saying, You have argued among yourselves about many things. Now I will ask one question. You will have one year to think about your answer. I will reward each of you according to the merit of your answer. The animals became excited because they each thought it would be easy to answer any question in a year's time. And besides, the old grandmother was not only wise, she was also generous with her rewards. Was it not the old grandmother? that had given grass to the fields and fruit to the trees? What is the question, grandmother? they asked. And she said, you must answer me this. What is your most important duty? And with that, they all left. The eagle flew to the high mountain to think about the question. The bear turned to the deep forest 
and the buffalo to the grassy plains. The Indian returned to his campfire. They all began to think about their answer. Thirteen moons later, they returned to the old grandmother's teepee. Grandmother spoke first to the eagle and said, Eagle, what is your most important duty? The eagle replied, My most important duty is to fly higher than anyone else. Grandmother said, for that answer, I will give you feathers which will help you fly higher than anyone else. And the eagle was very pleased with his gift. Next, the grandmother spoke to the buffalo and said, Buffalo, what is your most important duty? The buffalo replied, My most important duty is to run further than anyone else. Grandmother said, for that answer, I give you thick hooves that will allow you to run further than anyone else. And the buffalo was very pleased with his gift. The bear replied, My most important duty is to be stronger than anyone else. Grandmother said, For that answer, I would give you sharp claws that would make you strong, the strongest animal in the forest. And the bear was also pleased with his gift. Finally, the Indian rose and said, Grandmother, my most important duty is to help others. Grandmother said, For that answer, I will give you the stick. And when he saw the stick, the Indian was very disappointed, for he had thought long and hard about his most important duty. Grandmother, he said, Why do you give me a stick? Did my answer displease you? Oh no, she said. Your answer pleased me greatly. All the others felt their most important duty was to themselves, and they were rewarded accordingly. But you have learned that the most important duty is to help others, and you have been <coughs> rewarded. But grandmother, what can I do with this stick? This is more than a stick, she replied. This is an arrow. With the arrow, you can shoot the strongest bear, the fastest buffalo, or the eagle, no matter how high he soars. He who would serve others is the strongest of all. And then the Indian knew that this was the greatest gift of all, and he was pleased. There are light and its seven rays represent the seven days of the week, and that the arrow is to remind us to continue and to go straight up the pathway of scouting and in life. These seven candles represent the seven virtues of life. This candle represents wisdom. Wisdom does not necessarily mean superior knowledge. It means putting the right use to the knowledge that one possesses. This candle represents courage. Courage is not the quality that enables a <coughs> man to meet danger without fear. It is being able to meet danger in spite of one's fears. This candle represents self-control. Self-control isn't limited to the control of one's temper, but control of one's self in all things, eating, playing, and even working and talking. This candle represents justice. Justice is the practice of dealing fairly with others without prejudice or regard to race, color, or creed. This candle represents faith. Faith is the conviction that something unproved by physical evidence is true. One eight-year-old Cub Scout said faith was when you turned the light switch and knew the light would go on. This candle represents hope. Hope means to expect without confidence. Always hope for better things to come. A man without hope is a, of a little good to himself or his community. 
This candle represents love. There are many kinds of love. Love of family and love of home, love of fellow man, love of God, and love of country. All these loves are necessary for a full life. You will find that if you live and find seven great virtues, you will become a happy man, and happy man is a successful man. My brother guide, go forth and seek out the parents of these Weebler Scouts and bring them before the council fire in front of their son. Scouts, I would ask that you turn and face me. First, I shall present to you the parent pen of the Earl of Light. This pen is one that you give to your parents as a way of saying thank you for all their hard work in helping you. Please, gently <coughs> pen it on your parents. <laughs> Jonas, I present to your mother the arrow of light patch as she shall reward to you when you have done a good, a good turn. Riley, I present to your father the arrow of light patch that he shall present to you after you have done a good turn. Charlie, I present to you for your mother the arrow light patch that she will shall give to you after you've done a good turn. Ben, I present to your parents the arrow light patch they, they shall present to you after what? I have done a good turn. Nice. They can talk. Roka, I present to your parents the arrow light patch, the highest award earning Cub Scouts. For you to them to give to you after you have done a good turn. My brother medicine man, please escort. Sorry. My brother died. Please escort these parents back to their seats. My brother medicine man, please escort these Arrow of Life recipients back to their seats.
spirit of scouting is alive. Always. <laughs> this ends your arrow of light ceremony. Thank you. that each of you will find our activities and training and scout skills to be fun and exciting. I now ask our Acting Assistant Senior Patrol Leader to present each of you for the troop's neckerchief and welcome you to the troop. Thank you. 
I now ask our senior patrol leader to provide you with our troop neckerchief slide. Red, white, and blue, woggle. A rope that has no end, just as scouting has no end. And welcome you to Troop 439. Welcome your parents to the troop. Our troop has a very active program. This is possible largely because of the parent involvement in direct leadership roles or supporting roles behind the scenes. I invite you to join us at our upcoming parent orientation night and the next troop committee meeting to meet our other leaders and learn about upcoming activities. I now ask the parents of these Boy Scouts to please follow our medicine man across the bridge and into Boy Scouts. Order the arrow 
medicine man and guide. Thank you for your help today. May the spirit of the arrow continue to guide you. You may now be seated. Thank you all, and I'm going to ask that you please stand 
and give one more round of applause to our Weebles 2 Now Boy Scouts. Thank you for coming to our PAC meeting, our crossover, and Arrow Light presentation. I look forward to doing the same to you tigers, yeah. wolves, bears, and first year weeblos. This night is a special recognition for the second year weeblos. We do have punch and cookies out in the... Are you serious? Uh, in the um, <laughs> fellowship hall. Normally, wait, maybe I should change my mind. <laughs> Normally, we ask that siblings and parents go first, but I think tonight we will let, in an orderly walking fashion, <laughs> specific words important, are we blows too? No. To go first. No. Oh. No, I thought we were leaders first. I agree not to let them go. Honey, Robbie. 